everybody. Heather Stargazer here to do a reading for the sign of Taurus for the month of September 2024. I hope you guys are doing fantastic, Taurus. Thank you guys for being here. Um, we have, uh, we're going to pull you a rune. Um, we've got the Patch Tarot. We have the Kabbalistic Tarot. I've got the uh, Karma Cards and then um, some Sacred Geometry Oracle. And if we need, we'll get some uh, details from the um, Tea Leaf Oracle. Ancestors, spirits, guides, what messages do you have for Taurus for the month of September? Mmm, manas. This is about movement, or sorry, awas, my bad. About um, movement, yes, it's about movement forward. I said awas. It's, it's the um, letter E, all right, in the, um, the runic alphabet, the Futhark rune alphabet, number 17. You pulled it in the upright. Progress, movement, a horse. Awas is the rune of transit, transition, and movement of physical life shifts, new dwelling places, new attitudes, or a new life. It signifies movement in the sense of improvement or uh, bettering of any situation. There is about this rune a sense of gradual development and steady progress with the accompanying notion that slow growth through numerous shifts and changes this could apply to the growth of a business or the development of an idea a relationship also needs to undergo changes and transformations if it is to maintain growth and maintain growth and life personal moral effort and persevering steadfastness are called for when you draw the rune awas another of the cycle runes let it be said this way as I cultivate my own nature, all else follows. This rune symbol is the horse. From the Bronze Age artifacts, we find the sun linked to the horse. The horse both symbolized the sun and was regarded as drawing it across the sky. Here, this rune is saying, you have progressed far enough to feel a measure of safety, of surety in your position. It is time to turn again and face the future reassured and prepared to share the good fortune that comes. The sharing is significant since it relates to the power of the sun to foster life and illuminate all things with its light. Oh, I love this for you, Taurus. And what's funny is right underneath of it is Uraz, the bull, which is strength, right? And your own strength coming through. Perseverance and steadfastness. That's one of your greatest strengths. Um, you know, t taking the time and really putting the investment in, the energy in, to developing the beauty of the thing. It also talks about movement, transition, and progress. Whatever it is that you had been working on, you will be seeing progress this month. And transition, there is movement, right? You could be going someplace. You could be taking a trip. Um, it talks about the sun moving across the sky, and this is the month of the equinox. So there is... Um, a, a rebalance here for everyone on the planet um but especially it's coming out um highlighted for you this month taurus okay and as i say that you get the wheel of fortune i'm telling you on the up and up i am loving this for you what a great start six of discs generosity that's the moon in taurus uh oh it could be putting you into some kind of head spin what is what is coming next right the nine of swords you get the three of swords underneath this wheel of fortune we're actually um happy to see that there is a change change is a foot i heard change is a foot <laughs> four of wands beautiful what about this what comes next what's left what else two of pentacles beautiful and then the king of wands energy and again with that movement and there's this horse right awas moving forward progress transition it says audacious taking audacious action this um is filling you with confidence it's giving you that motivation and activation to keep going you know whatever it is that you've been working on is really starting to turn it could be based in some sort of heartache it's coming through here um either where you're standing now or where you were previously where you're coming from right sorrow heartbreak betrayal triangulation of some kind that's actually um really been a, a a catalyst for your change it's really been like you know an, an ignition of your fire to move you forward to change what um you've been living through living in i've heard sitting in have you been sitting in it for too long right did some sort of information um come through that like really 
just that was it that was it we're done it, it kind of I heard you broke you and I'm so sorry that that happened um, but know that at times they are a change and things are changing and that what it did was give you the strength momentum and purpose to push forward right as I cultivate my own nature all else follows maybe you realized who you were hanging out with the situation that you were hanging out in wasn't actually you it wasn't for you it, it didn't suit you well right and, and that could have been why there was some sort of um you know triangulation some sort of sorrow that was happening and and for some it could have actually been like a physical injury that needed to be healed something that some sort of surgery in some cases right um but what it did was was I would say take away the problem, but it, it created the space for the new new to come through, for those changes to occur. What I absolutely love here is that you get the six of discs, right? The moon in Taurus, generosity, giving and receiving in equal measure. And I just saw five, five, five. Again, changes are afoot and that rebalancing, right? The perfect time to be doing that equinox time. Um, it's like someone is coming through and giving you that little bit of, that you need to propel you even further, to keep the progress going. And it's a success. Look at that. Four of wands, energy, the celebration, the entering into the new, new, the four stakes that we put in the ground to set the parameters for our new foundation. That's where you are. It's like you are able to do that now right and uh because all of this is happening and maybe that you were in a sedentary space before maybe you were in a space of sorrow and suddenly things have been flipped so much that it's actually causing you anxiety or things moving too quickly there's a lot going on in your brain and it's kind of keeping you up at night because you're trying to figure out how to maintain that balance you know keep all of those things afloat keep those balls in the air this is juggling right but it's also uh, the infinity symbol that perpetuation that thing that that keeps going and there's that sun being pulled across the sky right it rises every day we can we can count on that we know that that's available to us but we also know that the night comes and when the night comes we might be a little bit um worried about what's going to happen next it's, it's don't worry um about that it's it's uh cyclical the cycle runes uh, uh the day will come the day the day will come <laughs> it sounds kind of like like you're telling these people you know you just wait i'm gonna be on top soon and here you are showing out absolutely beautiful absolutely beautiful i love this for you taurus this is gonna be a great great month happy september to you yes all right can you tell us about this wheel of fortune please can you tell us about this Jupiter? I'm hearing expansion of fortune, seven of coins, Saturn and Taurus. Here you are again. Your energy is all over this reading. The taskmaster setting you to task, right? Seven of coins, what you've invested in so far, right? And waiting for those the fruit to ripen, right? We don't go out and pull at the roots of our crops to make them grow faster. We have to sit in the patience of that. And while we're cultivating patience, we're cultivating our own nature. You're deciding who you are, where it is you're going, and what it is you're going to do in full confidence, right? Moving forward. There's it, it there's even though it's like there's this patience while things are growing, you're not just sitting around watching the grass grow you're um, filling pots full of soil you're fertilizing you're cutting the edges you're maintaining you're making sure that it's its optimal self so that um, you get the optimal product out of what it is that you're working on and I, I just I love that it's like you know no time is wasted I heard no time is wasted what's this three of swords what, what's the sadness Saturn and Libra what is that king of coins in the reverse now this could be your energy right stuck stagnant because i say that it could be your energy not because it's stuck and stagnant but because it's the king of pentacles right the king of earth energy um, it says fire and earth and he's holding that coin right and it, whatever it was that happened could have drained you of your coin it could have drained you of your motivation the fly you could have somebody spying on you saying things behind your back talking trash taking your taking your um your motivation, your investment, the value from, and you're feeling like you aren't capable of doing it because this, this sorrow has put you in a, or had put you in a space of, um, 
of stagnancy, of lethargy, right? And that's why this King of Wands energy is here to light the fire under your butt to get you back out into the world and moving again, right? Like I said, you're not going to, you know, while all that's happening, you're like, I'm not just going to sit around and sit in it. You're going to activate, motivate, maintain. All right, tell me about the Six of Discs. What is the Six? What is this generosity? Three of Cups. Mm -mm -mm. Yep. No longer giving two. There's two threes that aren't in their best. So that's like maybe your community, a former community, a former friend group, right? Um, it's almost like you're withdrawing your, uh, your contribution to selfish people to people who would drain you or use you for your manifestation abilities, for your investments, for your time, right? They're, they're like draining your value from you and you're returning your value to yourself. You're not giving to that anymore, right? You're really starting to see where your coin was going, where your time was going, what it was being used for and how they, like it, it was like they were not only taking you for granted, but they weren't, they were treating you like trash. 11 11 and you're like absolutely not no more this is my that's the progress is being made here you are moving forward once you start contributing to uh, generously to yourself to your gifts and to the greater good um and 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 withdrawing it from from people who would use it for their own selfish selfishness or just as a mechanism to keep you stuck so that you could continue to feed them when you should be feeding your feeding not just yourself but you're going to be able to really you know prosper here success venus and aries at celebrations it's like they're, they're having a celebration for you there it is right there two of cups there could actually be some sort of marriage some sort of partnership some sort of new um it doesn't necessarily have to be a new person but a new way of seeing a foundational relationship with someone who is um vibrating in the same vibration that you are who is on the same frequency mindset right will care for you like you will care for them this is equal reciprocity and soulmate relationships and this is called the wedding card it doesn't necessarily have to be romantic i just saw 1221 right this reflective very um balanced energy right and being generous with that person with that situation is generous back with you and it allows something to be established that could be that could be built it's a huge success it's a huge success here's the train so why worried cruelty this is cruelty are the things that this former um, heartache these former people this could actually this doesn't necessarily have to be you this could be someone else who's also an earth sign uh, Taurus Capricorn Virgo right um, oppressive oppressive energy is that like coming back to haunt you in your spaces when you're quiet Taurus Mars and Gemini ten of wands wow because you're worried if you can carry all this weight. You're worried if you can hack it. You're, you're, there's a lot of burdens that you're taking on, uh, responsibilities that you're taking on by doing this. By uh, But it, I feel like it's, I don't say like it's all in your head, but I feel like overthinking it is causing more of a burden than actually carrying the thing itself. Okay, actually following through on the thing itself. Remember, this horse drags the entire sun across the sky metaphorically think of it you know we, we know how physics works but metaphorically this horse can can take the entire sun across the sky in order to um bring life and fulfillment to all of the creatures and things on the planet right and it's like get like the worry is what's dragging you back dragging you down that's the weight that you're carrying through the night when the sun isn't here when you're not standing in your confidence to remind you of what you're capable of so don't let your thoughts don't let your thoughts take you over okay don't let your worry take you over you've got some success coming to you you've got a soulmate energy you've got the whole um wheel of fortune turning in your favor focus on that focus on that two of um Two of Pentacles here, Jupiter and Capricorn. The two Jupiter cards out. Expansion, growing, higher knowledge, luck. 
absolutely. It says change. That's too many. Sorry, that was like 10. Can we have a clarifier? What is this two of discs about for Taurus? Eight of coins. It's about getting to work. Wow, on the bottom, uh, there's the king of swords energy in the reverse. Yeah. Not having all the information, not having all the facts, somebody could be being dishonest. All right, again, there's that three. We get three of swords, three of cups, and three kings out, which is authority. You have to maintain your own authority or be, be the author of your own destiny, right? Be your own boss here. The eight of coins with this two of discs, being able to keep the work in balance while you're still learning how to do things, while you're still making the investments in things. But again, with this progress, because you went from the seven of coins, you got the six of coins, now you have the eight of coins, right? So there's definitely progress being made here. Um, keep that in mind, right? When you're trying to juggle all of this and you're trying to balance all of this, stay in your king of wands energy. Keep moving forward. Keep confident. Don't let these naysayers and these people who want to give you bad information so that they can drain your pocketbook, so they can drain your energy. Don't let them in don't let them in look underneath they pull this guy off and here's the queen of wands she is the divine counterpart to this person and we have the two of cups out i know that you're an earth side but like i said you got a fire lit under your ass and you are ready to go so with your with your counterpart here i would say with your newfound friend but again i don't know it could be somebody that you actually have known for however long but it's this new uh development of this new relationship with them understanding like hey we're seeing things eye to eye we're gonna get we're gonna get this do, doing this together generously right and being aware of who would take advantage of that generosity don't let it don't don't let those thoughts take you over focus on the work here here we've got the karma cards for a mind spirit and uh physical plane what what should taurus be aware of um, 11th house for humanity's sake in the spiritual realm, uh, mental realm, what are your hopes and wishes? What do you hope to accomplish? What is your what is your ultimate wish here? And then do it for the future. Again, the future self moving forward progress. I just saw 1717 and AWAS is the 17th rune, right? The 11th house. That's Aquarian energy here. And then North Node. Wow. Move it. Just move it towards your purpose. Keep going towards your purpose. In the, in the uh, spiritual realm, there will be. What will there be? What are you creating for humanity's sake? Right? Um, mental realm. Success. We got success. We got success. We got success all over the place. Success from your hopes and wishes. The development of them. This wheel of fortune. Jupiter energy all over the board here. And your north node and my palm is itching. You guys keep going. Don't let these, don't let these jerk face people hold you back. Absolutely not. Be aware. But don't let it keep you up at night. Right? physical plane what is the benefit what is the benefit from doing it for the future and then we also have virgo and then we like i said we have a um king of coins out that might not be you and we are in virgo time so the time is now all right it says uh in the in the spiritual realm the serving of others how does this help others? Well, it's definitely going to help some people. Here's your, your benefit, um, a generous benefit, the success that you're giving. And look at all those people up there. I don't know if you can see it. All these people up there celebrating you walking through this space here. Uh, the details of in the uh, mental realm. So knowing um, knowing what what is real and what isn't real, confirming any kind of information that you get, take a look at it. Don't don't think of the hypotheticals and let those get you into a space of anxiety. Really go after the correct information. Get a second opinion. Get a, get a read into the instructions deeply. Why is this? Why were you doing this? The details of it. That's very mercurial. That's very Virgo energy. The time right now is very well suited to doing that. It wants to support that type of action. So do that. And it says uh, in the physical realm, do what you must do. And, you know, do what you got to do. Do what you got to do, kid. That's, that's also this energy. Movement forward. This is, um, 
this is where, where, where you want to, the space you want to occupy to keep that fortune coming in, to keep things moving forward. And sometimes that can be difficult for um, earth signs because you guys um, are more, I don't want to say like slow, but you, you take your time right these guys are more impulsive you, like fire energy wants to just move 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 it's it's saying that you can be you can occupy both spaces within yourself simultaneously and rather than it have you um you know burn down burn down the what you've established it's actually going to fuel the flame to create something new right in order for pottery to be solid you have to you have to fire it that's the kind of feeling i'm getting love the look success again success success wow fortune it says the responsibility that's probably what's stressing you out that's probably what's stressing you out in the spiritual realm the responsibility for humanity's sake the serving of others you know there will be success here there's success in your hopes and wishes success from paying attention to the details right and um physical become a person of power and a person of status you got north node and 10th house here you're walking towards your purpose keep going of course there's going to be naysayers of course of course there's going to be challenges um there's always there's always challenges in life that's that's what does our character development that's what teaches us things that's what um gives us our practice and it's it's such a change of scene here to go from where you were to where you where you will be by the end of this month is just outstanding please don't get all up in your head about the worry focus on the work focus on what it is that you're doing and um let that be the 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 weight that you carry all right because you're doing this for the success and love of all. I see that, right? As I cultivate my own nature, all else follows. What does it say? Um, it is time to turn again and face the future assured and prepared and to share the good fortune that comes for the sharing is significant since it relates to the power of the sun to foster life and illuminate all things with the light, right? Ah, and then we get the divine feminine and remembrance which is really important with all these um king energies all this masculine asserting of the self right uh, going out and taking action the feminine energy here reminding you and then that queen of wands kind of like kind of like hey yeah don't forget to take that internal time right the frequency of divine feminine supports our receptive nurturing and soft side allowing it to express itself openly and helping to connect with our intrinsic understanding of our connection of all creation and remembrance um, the frequency of remembrance supports our memory of everything that we have gone through as a soul and body providing us with valuable information and tools to flow gracefully with and in this life mm -hmm. the generosity the uh two of cups here you know and it, it doesn't matter what the genders are keep that in mind with tarot it's how we how we embody them right i heard how we embolden them king of wands energy in the train let's get some details what should uh taurus be aware of for this month news is on its way bird flying high Ooh, i just heard nina simone you know how i feel Spence flying how the sun in the sky you know how I feel. It's a new dawn. It's a new day. And I'm feeling good. <laughs> I'll link that song below. Wealth. And get back to basics. See what else is in the other part of this deck. In the cane, pay attention to your health. Right. And I'm going to say the mental realm here. Right. Taking that time of healing. Going slow, but don't stop. Keep moving keep moving forward right progress is being made here be mindful of your health because if we get into a space of worry that that affects our physical and then that can make us sick right any other messages for taurus for the month of september gong an exciting event gosh i wish i was a taurus all right any more information for them mm -hmm. Ooh, too much concern with uh we'll say reproductive matters so um yeah, if you are uh, coupling with a divine counterpart, uh, remember that there's work to be done. It's not all just about the celebration. Right? <laughs> and then I'm seeing this nine of wands too, like the over worrying about certain things. It's like, what are we producing here? Right? Mountain road, you are on the road to success. Um, 
I've never seen the word success come out so many times before in reading. I've been reading for 27 years. I've never seen the word success come out so many times. Compliments from an admirer. All right. I'm not saying not to go have fun, enjoy yourself, you know, do it responsibly, but also, you know, like get to be, be mindful of the work that needs to be done. And there is a lot of passion. There is a lot of excitement and there is a lot of love here. So be mindful of that. All right, and they get us a, um, a message from the Messiah's Handbook, Reminders for the Advanced Soul. For Taurus, for the month of September, you get, um, ooh, it's a slow process, changing principles. And you'll never know they've changed until something that used to be right just doesn't feel that way anymore. Unconditional love is no more a force in space-time than it is in chess or soccer or ice hockey. Rules define life in games, and unconditional love doesn't recognize rules. Woof. Woof. Wow. I hope that was helpful. I hope that you got something out of it. Thank you so much for being here, Taurus. Thank you for blessing me with this wonderful energy that I get to enjoy with you for a little while. I hope your month of September is absolutely wonderful. Thank you for being here. Thank you for remembering to hit the like and subscribe buttons. And thanks for coming back to see us again next time. Bye.